Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am just holding my baby boy. Now this one is Lokio. He doesn't show his face much here on camera because he's always out and about, running around outside, always getting himself into trouble. So today I want to share with you my must-have products for brown skin that were released last year. Let's have a chat about these. I will try my best to include the swatches where I can and with most of these I have done individual review videos for these so you'll be able to check out more information, details, swatches, the works in those individual videos. So it's funny, he is your classic rag doll because you can see just with his body posture, he's trying to just lay low, right? He's he's flopping over. Whereas my other cat, Nininia, that you've often seen on camera, she's a rag doll as well. They're both siblings, but she doesn't do that. She doesn't just fall like a rag, I suppose. She will look around and move her head, whereas this one is a classic rag doll. You can say goodbye to everyone. Oh. He's so precious. So I'll start off with perhaps some bronzers. Now my bronzer of the year, hands down, has to go to the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer. If you haven't tried this already, I don't know what you're waiting for. This is beautiful. Oh my God. And this was totally unexpected. I was not prepared for this formulation. Well, I remember the first time I tried it, I was just amazed at how creamy this product is deep tan which is the perfect shade for me i was contemplating getting number three but number three is a little bit more cool tone and i definitely prefer more warm tone bronzers so this is that shade and i'm just going to swatch it at the back of my hand oh look at that gorgeousness and Although this is a powder bronzer, it really performs more like a cream. I mean, you can see that shine just on my hand there. It looks so creamy. It blends like a dream. The shade is perfection. It lasts all day. I quickly want to mention, if you have a brush that looks something like this, that has like these dual fiber bristles, almost a stippling style, this and this together work really well and that's because this is a slightly creamy formulation so when you use a bit of a dual fiber brush you can get that blend really seamlessly and it just works beautifully so highly recommend now the other bronzer i want to talk to you about is from abh and this will not be a surprise i have also raved about this bronzer these cream bronzers from Anastasia Beverly Hills are just creamy and thick and luxurious. Like that's the type of texture. When you dip into this with your finger, you can feel that thickness, that creaminess, and they blend like a dream on the cheek. They last all day. It gives you a slightly creamy look, but it's not matte and it's not dewy either. My hair doesn't stick to it. It's perfection. And the shade Amber, I'm going to swatch it here for you. Sorry, I swatched it on top of the Huda Beauty bronzer, but that there is a shade um, Amber. I know that this shade looks like it's a bit too light for my skin tone. But honestly, you guys, the shade Amber is perfect for my winter skin. In winter, I'm NC38, NC40. And for my yellow-toned, warm, olive skin, this shade is absolutely perfection. It cannot be better than this. I cannot imagine a bronzing shade for my skin tone be any better than this shade. Now, right now for me, this is too light. So I am currently tanned, as you can tell. So this is too light for me. I can't use this in summer, but in winter, it has been an ongoing favorite since I got this bronzer. The other shade that I actually really love and I can use in summer is the shade Caramel. So for those of you who may be a little bit darker than me or my skin tone, but you don't have olive undertone, then you cannot go wrong with the shade Caramel. Look at that beauty. It was, and I think you can really tell the texture, right? It is thick. It is creamy. It glides, but it's not too emollient. It's not oily or anything like that. And this shade is so beautiful. Now I have another cream bronzer recommendation and I have to recommend this. Now this is definitely a bit more luxury end and that is Chanel, their new cream bronzer in tan deep bronze. First of all, the scent. Mm, 
is to die for. The scent is so good. Every time I use this bronzer, I feel happy because of the scent alone. And I think that's probably the reason why the scent is there. But this particular scent is... It's just heavenly. Just letting you know the ABH doesn't have any fragrance. So if you have sensitive skin, you're probably better off with ABH than with Chanel. Chanel also has coconut oil, which some people, you know, will not gel well with. So that's another reason to go for the ABH. ABH is also a lot more affordable than Chanel. So there's a lot of pros for ABH, by the way. But of course, if you're wanting to spend your money on a luxury cream bronzer, I don't think you can go wrong with Chanel as long as you're not irritated by coconut oil so that's something to keep in mind and of course fragrance this is beautiful and this is a very lightweight cream bronzer so it's very different to the abh abh feels very thick and almost luscious whereas this one is very lightweight very smooth again it's another cream bronzer that just will glide on your skin and will blend out so easily so so this right here is the Chanel shade. You can see that it's a little bit darker than the caramel shade from ABH. And Chanel is, this, this is one of those shades that I can use year round. The Chanel lasts all day. It gives you that creamy look, but it sets down. My hair doesn't stick to it. it blends effortlessly, voila. Now let's change tack here a little bit and actually move on to some eye products. I don't know if you can still get this. It is, I feel like I've seen this on sale here and there. Um, in New Zealand it's still available, but I'm not sure if it's available in other places. It might still be, but if it is, this is such a gorgeous palette. It's been a while since I've tried NARS eyeshadow palettes and I really just fell in love with this. Textures of the shimmers are very unique. It's like a really thick shimmer, but it just glides. The shimmers are fantastic. The mattes are really buildable and blendable. For example, this shade right here, you can really just add and add and add it will blend out and it will deepen and deepen and deepen. So for brown skin, just having this one smoke out shade is enough because you can get a lot of variation from this shade. I have done a whole video on this, so feel free to check that out. Next up that I think is a must have from last year is the Charlotte Tilbury's Holiday Palette. So if you've been hesitating to buy Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows, I mean, they are expensive expensive and you weren't sure about how it would look on brown skin i think last year's palette is fabulous this color story extremely flattering on brown skin i can use every single shade in this palette and it looks good on my skin tone and i love the variation you can get so many looks from this you can get the beautiful greens you can get the taupey shades the rose the champagne the orangey red vibes, the purple even. Seriously? It also has a black, which is fantastic to smoke out and deepen any look. Um, the matte eyeshadows are beautifully easy to apply and blend. The shimmers just go on and look really lustrous on the eye. And I think that really is the word. The shimmers look very reflective, very lustrous. They're not reflective like your sparkly eyeshadows. They're not gonna glimmer, but they're going to look almost wet. And that's what I mean by the word lustrous. That's, they're going to give you almost this sh wet shine look to the eye and you're getting that from a powder eyeshadow. So I'm a huge fan of this formulation in this palette. I think Charlotte Tilbury just knocked this palette out of the park. In terms of longevity, uh, last year's palette is actually also better than the year before. Very good value for money. Her quads are quite expensive. So something like this is a much better financial decision, perhaps. I have done a full video with looks on that palette. So check that out if you're interested. Now, another eyeshadow palette that I haven't done a video on, I'm so Sorry, if you'd like to see a video, let me know in the comment section below. It's the ABH Norvina palette. If you are a purple fan, you cannot go wrong with this. Stunned by the quality of this palette, particularly those matte purples. Whew. I look at this palette, it just it makes me so happy because there's so much purple in here. I love that. Don't you just hate it when a brand advertises a purple palette and you get like one purple shade? 
or two purple shades and you left feeling disappointed because there just isn't enough purple well that's not going to happen to you in this palette because there are plenty plenty of purples oh my god and all different types of purples you've got your magenta purples your violet purples your blue purples you've got your lilac your lavender oh one of the things that I personally struggle with with purple eyeshadows is that they can often be patchy and hard to blend and maybe perhaps not even pigmented enough. That is not the case here. These matte purples are beautifully rich and pigmented. So I'm swatching for you this shade right here, which is a bit of a deeper, more of a violet purple. I love this shade. This is D5. I've done some smoky eyes with that shade, you know, that shade all over the eye. And you really don't need anything else. Woo! I mean, look at that beautiful grapey violet purple. This is extremely flattering on warm brown skin tones. Let me swatch another purple for you. So this is more of a blue purple. You can kind of see that lilac beautiful undertone. I mean, just look at how rich that looks. And these are smooth. When you dip your finger in there you can feel how buttery these formulas are Ooh, you i have got to be shitting me what the heck is that it is so pigmented and so creamy and it just it glides it glides if you haven't realized by now I love this palette. This is a purple lover's dream. If you love purple, please do yourself a favor and just get it. Shout out in my comment section if you want a video with this, because if a lot of people ask for a video, I will prioritize it. So let me know, please. Now, another palette that I recommend is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. This is in the shade Dark. I have been immensely enjoying this. So in the month of December, I've been going out a fair bit and I just find myself gravitating towards this palette. Yes, it has very simple tones. You know, this is a, an everyday neutral tone palette, but boy, this is really beautiful. I have enjoyed every single eyeshadow in here. I adore the blush. The highlighter is very, very reflective. You have to be careful with this highlighter. It can look really intense, but the shade of this highlighter is beautiful for brown skin tones. I feel like this shade will work for so many different people. It will be amazing. This blush, I love that muted, earthy, brick tone. Very flattering on my skin. It can look coral or it can look a bit reddish as well, depending on how you pair it, what lip you've got going on. These eyeshadows are beautifully smooth, pigmented, buildable. There's fallout with this shade right here, but the rest of the shades, you're pretty good to go. I'm very, very happy that I made the decision to buy this. More from Natasha Denona. I have also immensely enjoyed her new eye crayons. So she came up with, what are these called? These are the Macrotech eye crayons. My favorite is the black. The brown is also really good, but I think the black is super pigmented um, this is probably the the darkest the most blackest liner that i currently own sorry i'm just gonna swatch it for you Woo! seriously look how gorgeous that is it is smooth it's creamy it is very black it's just so black you guys um and it's really one swipe like one swipe maybe two at the max and you get beautiful pigmentation you don't need to go back and forth back and forth another thing that i normally always did was after i put my eye pencil on i would take a black eyeshadow and i will stipple the black eyeshadow on top and that gave me a very dark black look i don't need to do that with this pencil i just don't on its own this looks so black i don't need to add any more additional black eyeshadow and so that's an entire step from my makeup routine that I've just removed and I haven't been doing that since I've gotten hold of this pencil. It lasts all day, it retains that blackness, it really doesn't move once it sets, it's beautiful. 
it's probably not the best smudgy pencil though so if you're someone who loves smudging out your black eyeshadow this is probably not the best because although it's creamy it does set down and it's a bit of a stiffer formula you can smudge it a little bit but you can't smudge it effortlessly like you can with MAC Cole pencils for example. Another thing with this is that it's not the best for the waterline. You can absolutely use it for the waterline but it will fade during the day. The best one for the waterline I found so far is Shiseido. So the Shiseido the Shiseido Nippon Noir. This so far for me has been the best for the waterline. Stays put all day but this one isn't as good just to line your eyes as Natasha Denona because this one isn't as black if I was you I would just get the Natasha Denona and yeah sure it doesn't last all day in terms of the waterline but it's still there it doesn't completely fade so I'm okay with that and the brown is also really nice so this is the brown right here it's a beautiful brown same thing it's pigmented it's creamy it glides on very happy with these two pencils now I also want to mention NARS came out with their correctors last year and I loved their correctors so I have the shade medium now I have done a video on this corrector. I've compared it against the other shade as well, which I think was medium dark. So have a look at the video, particularly if you're not sure what corrector shade you may be. So check that out. I think this is amazing. This is a very hydrating formula from NARS. So this right here is the corrector. It's not, it's a peach corrector, not an orange corrector. What I like about it is that it's hydrating so on days that I might be feeling that my skin is dry and I need some hydration I will actually use this instead of some of my other correctors because it will give me that hydration and it kind of keeps that under eye area nice and moist and doesn't make your concealer crease so I love that it does have some shimmer though so some of you will not like the fact that it has shimmer that's probably the only downside the shimmer does give you some radiance but honestly by the time you add your concealer on top or even if you apply your foundation here right on top you won't really see shimmer talk about one brow product so last year Huda Beauty came out with their bomb brows which is their fiber brow gel I've really enjoyed this it has a very very thin wand so let me compare that to my holy grail fiber brow gel which is the MAC I'm wearing the MAC at the moment the MAC gives you really intense and fluffy brows and for going out I really like that but for going to work MAC is a bit too much a bit too intense let me just pop the wand side by side so you can see the MAC one is that really thick wand and the Huda Beauty is really really thin. If you have really thin brows you're not going to like the wand on the MAC because it's going to be too big for your brows whereas on, for the Huda Beauty it will be perfection for you. Um, what I also really enjoy about the Huda Beauty is that I can wear this to work and it doesn't look too much. It gives me kind of like a a natural fluffy brow look whereas the MAC one gives me really wah wah boom sort of brow look it looks super dark and intense whereas this one I can wear to work and this one I generally like for YouTube and I like going out with this one my shade is soft black which is number eight actually let me swatch it for you this right here shade eight which is soft black it is perfect for my black brows next up let's talk about some lipsticks last year charlotte tilbury came out with new shades so she came out with super fabulous supermodel and catwalking i love all three shades you guys i'll put up swatches of what the shades look like but i'm a huge fan of the charlotte tilbury lipstick formulation they are great for every day, great for work. They are comfortable, easy to reapply. They are non-drying. I absolutely adore the formula and these new shades are perfection. I actually love all three, catwalking, supermodel and super fabulous. I've been wearing all three. Bite Beauty came out last year with their reformulated lipsticks and I love them. This range of lipsticks from Bite Beauty is very pigmented. It's smooth, it's comfortable, the shade selection is spectacular. You can get everything from nudes to peaches to pinks to reds. Some of my favorite shades are Harissa. I also really love Chai. Tamarind is stunning. I love the peachy look of Tamarind. You have Sugar Buns, 
Sugar Buns is a great pink. Another lipstick formulation that got released last year is Kaleidos. So I have quite a few of the Kaleidos lipsticks. These are the Cloud Lip Clays. They are liquid lipsticks. It's a moussey formula and it's transfer proof. It's comfortable, it's transfer proof, it's long wearing, it's easy to apply, it's easy to remove, it's re easy to reapply, it's just perfection. I have done a whole video on these, so check that out for some lip swatches. What I love about these as well is that it is very brown skin friendly, like they're nude shades. I could not believe that their nude shades actually looked really good on my pigmented lips and my brown skin. So I'm very, very happy with this formulation. Another ones I wanna mention that came out pretty early last year was the MAC Love Me Liquid Lipsticks. This is a satin formulation. So the other ones that I've talked about are all matte, whereas these are the only satin ones that I'm mentioning today. My favorite shades is Feel Me and Deify Me. What a smooth, absolutely saturated, pigmented formulation. Super, super pigmented. I mean, wow. And these are satin lipsticks that last all day on me. Like I only probably need to reapply once during an entire eight hour day and that's it. And they wear off evenly. They're easy to reapply. Fabulous, fabulous formulation. Well worth checking out. They never settle into my lip lines or give me that weird, you know, lip line look or anything like that. Just fabulous. All right, now let's talk about some blushes. So last year, Pat McGrath came out with her blushes. And for me, the must haves are really the satin formulation. So the two that I absolutely adore and have been wearing it kind of nonstop are Divine Rose and Nude Venus. So these are the satin formulation that have a little bit of sh shimmer. It's not a sparkly shimmer or anything like that. It is a very sophisticated, very subdued shimmer. It gives you a gorgeous glow to the cheek. And the two shades are absolutely stunning on my skin tone. I highly, highly, highly recommend these two shades if you're close to my skin tone and i really hope pat mcgrath comes with more satin shades our matte formula is pretty good but i think it's really the satin that really hits it out of the park the other one i want to mention is the orange blush from m cosmetics this is a so soft play blushes this is the shade passion the most beautiful orange blush shade ever i am actually wearing it today i'm wearing it right here and right kind of close to my eye but i'm wearing a very very sheer amount and it's giving me that beautiful warm earthy orange look oh, i mean just look at that color are you kidding me this is so beautiful ah oh, i love how bright and vibrant and orangey this is but this is not a peachy orange or a coral orange it's an orange orange yeah, this is a must-have. If you love orange blushes, this is a must-have. Natasha Denona Liquid Serum Puff Paint Blushes. I talked about these at length in my favorite blush videos, so I'm not gonna touch on these for much longer. They are absolutely beautiful. They give a nicely diffused, creamy look to the chin. Chin? Creamy look to the skin. They are easy to apply. They last all day. I adore all three shades, but my favorite is most likely the tan shade. I wear this frequently. I wanna mention our Rose Ink. I've also done a review for this recently. I love this really thick, luscious texture. They're pigmented, buildable, easy to apply, easy to blend, last all day. They look nice and dewy on the cheeks. Fabulous formulation. My favorite shades are Foxglove and Dahlia. So please check that out. Gorgeous cream blush formulation. Please ignore my very shiny skin situation. I'm gonna leave it the way it is because I'm doing a wear test. So I can't believe I forgot to mention this, but last year Spectrum did a collaboration with Katie Hughes and they came out with a set like this. This is a 25 piece makeup brush set that is synthetic, 
vegan, cruelty free. It is freaking amazing. I have been using these brushes non-stop since I purchased these last year and I highly, highly recommend this brush set if you're in the market for one. Now let me just quickly talk about these brushes. The 25 piece is quite substantial as you can see that I've separated these out these are the, my face brushes and then these are my eye brushes. That's how I keep them separate. When you buy the set, you also receive the, the little brush holders that you can use, which is very handy, as well as a microfiber towel, which I also use. This is a microfiber towel on one end. I wipe off all my eyeshadow work. So for example, if I'm using uh, a darker shade and you know I don't have any other brushes all I need to do is wipe it off on the towel um, the microfiber towel actually really helps to pull the color away from these bristles and then I can dip into another shade and keep on doing my work so this has been really handy you can see how much I've used it so this side I keep for eyeshadows and then the other side I wipe off any face products like foundations creams um, bronzers, anything like that. So I can reuse these brushes and I don't have to wash them frequently. All I do with this towel, I will fold the eyeshadow end. I will fold in, sorry if you can't see properly, this end right here and I'll close it like this and I'll put it aside. The two sides don't mix because then when I go in with my brushes, you know, the eyeshadow ones are not going to transfer onto the brushes for the face. These brushes are extremely soft, probably the softest synthetic brushes I have experienced. First of all, let's have a look at what the brushes look like. They do look like your painter's brushes. So that is the aesthetic that is very much intentional. That is what Katie Hughes wanted to do with these brushes. I love the olive handle, the gold ferrule, and then of course you have your bristles. The 25 piece set has really been well thought out and um, of course Katie Hughes is a makeup artist. She's amazing. Check out her work on Instagram and I am very very happy with this set. It has everything, well pretty much everything that I need. I've just turned my fan on. It is pretty hot here at the moment. So let's just quickly talk about what brushes you get if you choose to buy the 25 piece. Now the 25 piece is quite extensive. I believe there's an 11 piece kit as well. So if you don't need so many brushes, you don't have to get the 25 piece. You can get the smaller sets. Now you have a big round brush, which is great for any powder work part of bronzers or even blushes I've used this with blushes and it's been perfect just if you wanted a blush kind of all over the cheek look you've got these duo fiber brushes you've also got two duo fiber brushes and that's what they look like I use this one here for cream blushes and this one for cream bronzers what I love about this one right here is that it's perfect for a cream contour or cream bronzer because of the shape you can see that and it's very easy just to kind of get into the grooves and be able to work it into the skin these two brushes I'm gonna go through this very quickly I feel like I should probably do a separate video for these brushes and actually show them to you in action and do a full demo so I can do that let me know in the description box below these two brushes here are uh, what I use for powder products. So this one here for powder bronzer and then this one here for powder blushes. Then you've got two of these brushes that are exactly the same. There's two types. I use one for cream products or cream liquid foundations, things that are very runny or to buff into the skin, just in, in sort of small circular motions, I use one for that. The other one is really great for like targeted highlighter application. You also have these two brushes. Um, this one right here, I've been using as a foundation brush. I don't like to use this brush to buff into the skin, but to spread foundation all over my face, it's really good for that. It's also actually really good just to set your face with powder. So you can just really press the powder into the pore area and into the skin where you're oily. It's really good for that. This other brush you can really use as an eyeshadow shadow brush if you like. I've actually been using this to set my under eye area. So I pick up powder on this brush and just press it in 
works beautifully for that so these are all the brushes that i'm using for the face now let me quickly show you the brushes i've been using for the eyes it comes with three liner brushes you've got this one with the long bristle which is really good for creative work this is your standard liquid this is your standard liquid gel liner of course this one you can use for gel liner or just to even stipple eyeshadow really um, tightly packed onto the lid it's great for that on the other end you've got your mascara wand then one of my favorite brushes number 12 this is a packer brush this is fantastic i absolutely love the length it's not too big if i compare it to the one i used to set my under eye powder you can see how small it is in comparison to the other one. This is perfect for just depositing that eyeshadow right on the edge and packing on that color either all over the eye or at the outer V. So it's perfect for that. I wish there were multiples of this brush because I feel like I'm gonna, this is fantastic. Um, I'm gonna have to check out whether I can buy these individually because this is a type of brush I would love to purchase more of. You can, then you also have something that is very similar, but it's not as dense. It's a little bit more loosely packed. It's really great with shimmers as well, both with matte eyeshadows, shimmer eyeshadows. Um, you have something like this, which is, which I've been using for eyeshadow. This is really great when you're wanting to get right in the corner there and you don't want to put a whole blob of shimmer for example with your finger you want to be really precise and really apply it right in the corner it's fantastic for that it's a really good concealer brush as well so you can spot conceal this is another one which is quite flat as you can see and this one is really really flexible um, so this is this helps to kind of add in really sheer amount of products sheer shimmers blend them out It works perfectly for that cream products. You can use this with creams Then you have three types of pencil brushes I've as you can see have used all of them this one right here Which is the big one is perfect for blending out cream eyeshadow. This one is really really great for smoking out just at the edge let's say if you want to smoke out your outer way let's say you've got a, a brown eyeshadow you've smoked out everywhere but then you want to add a dark brown eyeshadow or a black eyeshadow but you really want to add it to the edge here and really deepen this edge but keep it small you don't want to, it to flare out too much then this brush which is teeny tiny is perfection and then of course you have this which is even smaller very targeted applications you can use this to smudge out your pencil line fantastic then we've got four blending brushes which i have used all of them they're all really really great so these are the four blending brushes this is the biggest one this you can use to diffuse out eyeshadow all over the eye if you want one single color um, my most used one is probably this one right here which is number 11. This one is another one that I wish I had multiples of because it has a bit of a tapered finish while it's fluffy at the same time. It's very specific or you can kind of really blow it out. Like it's, it's, it's a very flexible brush. This one right here, you can see there's a lot of dark shadow in it. And what I use this for is, for example, if I wanted to keep that depth really specific and located in a very small area, and let's say I've used this brush here and i've added some black right here i can go in with this very small blending brush and i can blend right there in the edge um it's not gonna you know make it spread it's gonna keep that blending very much located to that small area and then this brush right here is quite interesting it's quite flared out at the top and what i find this very useful for is to blend out or remove very sparkly eyeshadow so if you've got a lot of sparkle you can just back and forth use this to diffuse that out then we have this very interesting brush that initially I thought this was gonna be a liner brush I mean you could use it for that but this is perfection just to clean up under your eyeshadow you can also clean up around your lip line with this you can put a little bit of concealer on it and go around your lip line you can put a concealer here fantastic and lastly um, we have the lip brush which has a nice little rectangle squared off edge at the top perfect to get that lip line so all brushes that i have are useful 
all I've used. The only one actually I haven't used is this very long spindly one, which is very, very for more creative liner looks. This is the only brush in this 25 piece set that I haven't used. This is the best brush kit I have ever purchased. I've purchased many brush kits. I feel like this is the most comprehensive. You get everything. You can do all your makeup with these brushes. There's nothing lacking except for one thing, which is something like a very dense uh, foundation brush something like this super dense that you can really buff into the skin that's the only thing that is missing from this set and that's it guys um i'm sorry this video is very long i did not want to miss talking about these spectrum kitty Hughes collaboration amazing amazing kit and the great thing about this being synthetic is not only that this is cruelty free, it is also means that these work for both cream and powder products. So you don't have to worry about damaging your brushes. They wash really well. They don't lose hairs. Fantastic quality, worth every penny in my opinion. These are my absolute faves from last year. Adore all of these products. Let me know in the comment section below if you've tried any of these, if you love any of these, if you hate any of these. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.